Okay, uh, welcome uh, to this week. So uh, the main thing to do this week is to work on the paper that's due the 29th. Um, really, really, I kind of hope it's done sometime like before Wednesday of next week. So I guess my intent is that you would work on it this weekend. It's definitely something that you can kind of think about before you do it, and then with, once you have, once you look at the once you look at the project, it'll make more sense. Um, you can kind of think about it for a little bit <clears throat> and then write it. And I, I hope it shouldn't take you too long to write uh, because it's a short document. It, it's something short that, that you're going to do. So my my um, uh, what am I trying to say here? My I guess my not my intent, but my my sort of expectation uh, expectation in, in the sense that this is what I expect is probably going to happen is that you'd be done with the project over the weekend. Um, you're going to turn that in on the 29th uh, for your homework, and you're also going to turn it in next Wednesday for your homework as well, which I get is before the 29th, but you can just turn both of them in late. So, so don't, don't worry so much about, about the due dates. Um, the only homework that's due next week is the project, or so the project which is due on the 29th, which I guess is like sort of more than a week away. Um, and then the Wednesday before that, you're just going to turn in your project for your homework. If you haven't completed your project yet, you can just turn it in when you turn in uh, your project. So I get that's kind of confusing. Uh, I didn't realize that before I started to explain it. Uh, but anyway, okay, so what we're going to start doing, um, so this week we are going to install something called Manum. So like, what is Manum? Well, there's a reason that I have the uh, the three blue, one brown video up here, or uh, YouTube page up here. Um, so Grant Sanderson is the uh, is the creator of this, and to make these videos, <clears throat> excuse me, to make these videos, he created a long time ago uh, a package called a Python package called Manim. N uh, M A N I M. The M is for math. The Anim is for animation so it's like math animations okay this sort of he posted this on github and other people started doing things with it and so now like a lot of open source things it's this community project uh, with a lot of good support from the community in terms of telling you how to use it and install it uh, and that sort of thing and he has kind of his own branch that he's using called something and we're going to be using sort of the main branch but we don't have to know so much about that in fact if you didn't understand any of that delete it from your mind uh, unless you want to understand it then you can read about the history on the Manum website okay so what we're going to be doing uh this so what we're going to be doing uh this week we're going to install Manum. it's going to require that we install several things uh that's what we're going to be doing in the next video um, and we're going to look at a, at a very simple Manum example um, so we can see kind of how to make more complicated um, Manum objects or, or Manum animations, Manimations. Uh, one thing that I'll probably say again and again is that Manum only does animations. So if you want to add uh, like vocal, if you want to add, um, you know, audio to it, like if you want to talk over the video, like, like you know, you probably should. Um, if you want to do something like that, uh, then then you have to um, have some other video editing software where you have your video from Manum and you put your audio over it. So I just use like Windows Media Player or not Windows, Windows Video Editor. Um, and I made this video here, um, which... Converting an exponential function to a here. log function or a semi-log function. So what we're going to begin with is an exponential okay, function. So if we, y if we is see, equal I'm to move it down. So here's kind of one of the things that I did, and I'm I'm still a newcomer uh, with Manum. This is a very simple uh, animation, but you know I you know this is something you do to animate this come up. Then you kind of have this nice moving math. So it kind of you can you know the idea is that if you're watching this video, you can kind of follow along w with what's going on uh, to a certain extent, um, and then in a minute this axis will uh, will sort of um, transform into a log axis. Uh, I don't want to keep you guys waiting here forever. I don't want to hold you in suspense. I know you guys are just really waiting for it. Okay, so eventually it will happen. Okay, so we have something like this, um, and then we can sort of keep going. Uh, I think this is a semi-log plot. 
Okay, um, so that's that. Uh, we'll be able to see how to make animations like this, okay, do all of this stuff. Um, but today, in today's video, or this week's video, we're just going to look at getting Manum installed and then doing a very simple example. I will also say one other thing. All of our examples and everything that you turn in is going to be in Jupyter. Most of the time, I think Jupyter is a good thing to use for a class like this um, because that's what you would use in real life. For something like this, though, if you actually want to go past this class and use Manum uh, and, and other things, I think it would probably be better to install uh, uh, if you can pay for Microsoft Visual Studio, install that. Or uh, if you can't, just get the VS Code and install that. You can edit the code there. It's a good IDE and it will help you. It will have um, code highlighting, syntax, uh, code completion, all of that. Uh, it's a little bit more helpful than what Jupyter has. Um, I guess there's ways to add some of that stuff to Jupyter, but we're not gonna be doing that. So I just wanna point out, Jupyter is probably not the ideal thing to do, uh, to use with Manum, though I, I think it's there's actually some very good things about it. Um, if you want to do kind of something maybe a little better, I would try using uh, Visual Studios or Visual Code. Um, and I'll let you guys figure out on your own how to install all of those sorts of things. Um, but it's gonna be in some of the, uh, it, it's gonna be tangential to some of the things that I show you. So at any rate, we're gonna do things in Jupyter for this. If you wanna know more about using Visual Code or Visual Studio, you can ask it, we can talk about it uh, in the discussions.